Hello folks and welcome to this flute comparison video. Uh, a lot of people keep sort of asking me on YouTube and different forums, what's the best flute in the market? Well, I can't answer that. But if you wanted to change your flute or if you wanted to listen to a different flute before you're making your mind up, then this video might help you. What I would recommend though is play, if you like the Cliffy Ray, if you like the sound of the Cliffy Ray, look for a band that plays the Cliffy Ray and have a go on one, see what you think yourself. Again, with the Miller Wicks, the Tony Milliard flutes, or the Miller Brown. If you like the sound of them, try one with somebody else from somebody else first, um, before making your mind up. Because this is just this is just a little taster of what of what, what there is out there, really. We'll go through one tune, Lily Bolero, which people know as the Protestant Boys. It's been it's a, a very old tune, really. Um, first flute, as I say, we're going to do is the Cliffy Ray. It's made out of metal, sturdy flute. Um, it's all metal keys, a raised lip plate, plate which is made out of plastic, plastic end cap. Uh, the Cliffy Ray, it comes apart and it's got two rubber o-rings which I just use Vaseline on just to keep it um, free uh, when you need to get it out really. It's a very easy flute to clean and it's got, um, if, you, if you can see like there, the keys, the D sharp key is quite a wide key. Um, it's a six key, is it? No, it's a five key flute. Lily Blow. The next one is the Miller Brown, made out of black ebonite, which is a form of vulcanized rubber. It's basically a, a hard, very dense plastic. Um, again, there's the key work on the Miller Brown. This one's a two plate piece, um, no tune and slide, like the Cliffy Ray. Uh, that's PTFE tape, plumber's tape on it. I wouldn't recommend that. Um, it should have proper um, waxed uh, cotton. But this is my own flute, so I can do what I want with it. Um, this flute, as I say, different keys. As I've said on the Cliffy Ray, it's a wide key. The D sharp, this is not a wide key. It's sort of a diamond shaped key for your finger. And it's, the keys are a lot smaller and a lot finer than the Cliffy Ray. Um, so I'll play the, the little arrow on this as well.
Next one, the Miller Wicks, um, Northern Ireland flute, made in Northern Ireland by Paul um, Irvine of Miller Wicks, Northern Ireland, and Kilkeel. Again, the, it's more like a teardrop, um, D sharp key, this one. Um, quite thick keys on this flute. African Blackwood, three piece flute. The tune and slide. I always set it to about 10 mil when I'm playing, which is about there. The next one is a uh, Tony Milliard um, uh, B flat, again made out of African blackwood, based on the same design as the the um, uh, Miller Wicks uh, Crown AZ, the old Crown AZs. Uh, similar key here to the Cliffy Ray on the D sharp. It's it's more of a an oval sort of shaped. Um, again, good sturdy keys. African blackwood. Again, it's a three piece. The tune inside again, I've said it at 10 mil, roughly what I had. That's it there. And a little bit different than the the Miller Wicks that I have, it's got a bit of a raised bit here um, at the end, which it just, it just looks nice. It's a six key, the same as the Miller Wicks. It's got two F natural keys, it's got the F natural key here, and the different one, the other one on the other side, more for trills, whatever suits you best. So here we go, Lily, Lily Bolero. Okay, so we've got the Peter Worrell um, coronet, B-flat coronet. The coronet is the sort of more budget version um, of his flute. So he does the uh, crown flute, which is a three-piece head uh, with a, a, a silver liner inside, or a tuning slide. Um, and this one's a straight head, just wood inside, no liner at all. Um, the keys and the body exactly the same as the crown. Um, nice big, if you see there, nice big keys, big chunky keys. Um, the exact same keys that are on the Miller Wicks flute. Um, I like that it's got a nice little sort of nipple at the top on this one. Now, 
I have done um, a separate video on the Peter Worrell flutes because um, I, when I got this one I also got the crown I've done a video, you'll probably see it on YouTube there beside this one and it shows you the, the, the plate as well and it shows you me unpacking it and that sort of thing um, so here we go Peter Worrell coronet. <laughs> 